So folks, if you like our channel, there's lots of ways you can help us by sponsoring us. You can do it through buy me a coffee, pay us a couple of quid and that'll help with our travel expenses. And if you're a small company or a big company and you would like us to talk about your product, promote your product, please do get in touch. There will be a link below. It's the, uh, the biggest evening I've ever had in my life, to be honest. All the responsibility stops here. But I'm hoping it all goes really well. Um, I'm nervous about the whole thing. Got to be nervous, really. I am and I'm not, really. I've got... Dave Shine and Dan, he's with me. Right? Everyone here has come here for Dave. Everyone wants to celebrate him. So we've just got to enjoy it and make each other laugh. And, and it looks great, doesn't it? I mean, it's a great setup. I'm really pleased. Charlton have gone above and beyond and put on a superb event for us here. They've, everything that we've needed, they've catered for it. And, and you've got a tie on. I've got a tie and I thought I'd make an effort tonight. So tell us what you're going to do tonight. So we've got Courtney doing some singing. She's going to give us a, a few of the songs that she's wrote, which are really good. Fantastic. And we've got a live auction. Yes. And then hopefully I'm going to give us all a bit of a giggle for about an hour, yeah. telling you a load of funny stories about me and Dave. For me, I'm really lucky because I'm telling you stories that I've lived. Yes. So I don't really I don't have to rehearse or, you know. Yeah. So what, what would Dave think about all of this? I think Dave would be over the moon. I think Dave's my driving force. Yes. I want him. I want to live my life and make sure he goes. Yeah, he didn't waste what he done. Yes. Yeah, because Dave took a bow and left us to give us the room to do this. Yes. He was so brave. He realised that he'd outlived his body. Mm -hmm. You know, and his life tells you that story. If you look at the amount of things he'd done, he outlived the human body. He'd accelerated life so much that he wore his body out. Absolutely. Well, I, I will leave the applause. So if there isn't any, I will leave it. <laughs> I'm relying on you. Brian yeah. with uh, Angela, who, who knew Dave really, really well. So uh, what does this evening mean to you? Oh, it's lovely to have people I haven't seen, obviously, for a year. It's nice to have everyone together in memory of David. David is here tonight saying it's all about me, 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 as he usually would. And it's just lovely. He would, he would love tonight, wouldn't he? He would have absolutely. He would be well chuffed. That there's pictures of him everywhere. Yes. Everyone's talking about him. Yes. Just how he likes it. Oh, how fantastic. It is fantastic. It. It's and, lovely. And how are you coping after all this time? I've just got on with it. You know, I've gone back to work. I was a kept woman, as you know, for five yes. years. And yes. I've gone to work and just got on with it. Fortunately, I live in and the sticks in Wiltshire. Yes. So I've been able to just carry on with my life, really. Yes. He's with me all the time. Yes. You know, I feel him with me all the time. And, and this is what he would have wanted. Yes, brilliant. And I think uh, he would have been well chuffed. And it's amazing because you kept that connection like Brendan with Mercy. Yeah. And all of that, which is a wonderful yeah. thing. It is, so if, you know, he has, and he's done a fantastic job, yeah. Brendan. He's carried it, you know, to the letter yeah. of, you know, so, of what uh, he wanted. Much shed a quiet tear tonight. I'm hoping not to. I can, it's been there all day, Liam, and I'm yeah, hoping to just. Destroy the makeup, do we? <laughs> <laughs> right, so here I am with uh, Matt, and you are, well, I suppose, what, what are you kind of like co presenter of the night? I mean, in terms of what's your role in it all? Um, I'm not entirely sure yet, actually, but yeah. I, I would say that I, if. if if Brendan is M and M, I'm Dr. Dre. Right. Okay. So I'd like to. Th I'd like if you want to give it the fancy title, I'd say that I am the uh, producer and director of yes. this evening's entertainment. Right. And if you want to really simplify it, I'm just going to press the space bar okay. to change the PowerPoint as we progress. Oh, fantastic. So you're not actually going to go on? You're not well, gonna... I'm not going to go on on, but yeah. I'll be there. I will be there. And yes. I dare say I'll say something. And, right. and one of the reasons, um, you know, why I think is because there's a lovely photograph of Dave and Brendan on stage together here. Yes. Yes. And I looked at that and I thought, I, I can't, at, a, at an amazing event like this, really justify doing that, if that yes. makes sense. Like, you know, I'm not Dave, nobody's yes. Dave. Yes. And no one's Dave and Brendan. So yes. I feel like I wanna, you know, I'm not putting myself down, but I'm gonna be sort of in the background. Yes. And I will have a microphone, because it kind of helps. Yes, yes. And if he forgets where he is, you can I, I can sort of prompt. But the yeah. main thing is, you know, Brendan's the front man, yeah. and, I'm, and I'm pressing play. Yeah, well, I mean, that's that amazing. Sense. It's not it's not easy to go out and do an hour on stage. I mean, that is... Uh, it's not easy, well, you know, that is yourself. Yeah, you yeah. know how it is. I did say to him earlier on, actually, when Adrian Dancy was here as well, yeah. that, that most people 
and as you know, will work on five minutes of material. Yes. They'll do it at open mic nights. Yes. For really quite a long time. It can be Absolutely. anything between three and five years. Yes, yeah. You could yeah. argue it takes ten years to make a comedian and Absolutely. Brendan's still done it in about four days. Or, yeah. you know, I'm I might be exaggerating slightly. Yeah, yeah. But you know, so so it is quite a tall order. It is. I, I had a good 10, 15 minutes, but it took me years. Yeah, it takes a long time, doesn't yeah. it, to get it right yeah. and then to, to perform it in front of different audiences. Yeah. However, my prediction, and, yes. I, and f feel free to post this, and I'll yeah. look forward to all the comments yes. saying that I'm, you know, not the Cornish Mystic Meg. Yeah. I predict that the heightened emotion, because I yes. think there will be, yes. and the adrenaline of his yeah. first gig, if you want to call it that, yes. Yes. I think we could see something quite surprising. Yeah, and also I think there'll be a fairly raucous crowd of you all for him. They're not, they're not going to be like anti, it's not going to be like a Northern Club or, or a gig in Wolverhampton, is it? I have no idea, I wouldn't have thought so. I would, no. I would imagine that people yeah. are here to be supportive, I hope so. Yeah, absolutely. Well, best of luck with the night. Well, thank you. I, I will press the space bar and thoroughly yeah. enjoy myself. You'll hear from me later on, but remember what we're here for this evening. Very, very important occasion. We're going to have a great time and we're going to enjoy ourselves, yes? Yes! Really enjoy ourselves? Yeah. That's good. Thank you very much. So I'm here with uh, David, uh, a renowned author and a man who's always at these events. Uh, but you've, you've actually done books as well. So you had a book out fairly recently. Tell us about that. Yeah, so um, about this time last year to commemorate the twins 90th birthday I brought out a book uh, called Those Were the Craze, uh, 90 Years in Places. Um, it's available on Amazon and um, it's not heavy on words uh, yeah it's gone down really well lots of great feedback which you know when I set out to do I, I said to my partner Donna I said if I sell one and, and, and someone enjoys it that'll make me happy and fantastic so you're here tonight this is like a, an evening uh, in memory of uh, Dave Courtney did you know Dave I met him on several occasions yes. and do you know years ago I was told to give Dave a wife wide birth by by someone with the same interest yes. and uh, me being me I, I chose to ignore that yes. and I met him at a few events and he was nothing ever but a gentleman to me yeah, um, he used to make me laugh always yes. made us feel welcome yeah. both in his home and at events and, so great personality and much missed yeah yeah, yeah. very much yeah. and I, me and my partner Donna was on holiday at the time when the news was broke about Dave's yeah, sad passing and I, I was shocked how just how much it hit me you know yeah yeah, yeah um, it, 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 it hit me badly too I, I yeah. mean, it was a terrible terrible tragedy yeah. but for the book people can go and get it on amazon give us one more reminder of the name those were the craze my name is dave Courtney. it ain't crap do the first one <laughs> <That's how it's... laughs> well, i think that is my favorite has been a complete is that one, yeah? What made him think he could possibly be anything that Dave was. Uh, the scariest thing about Dave. Jen's gonna love this, right? In the back in the day, in the back in the day, right, as she is mild now, but when I first went raving with Dave, Jenny would, if anyone was rude to her, she was very, very polite, very humble, but trust me, if anyone was rude to her, she didn't take it, yeah? So I used to say, Dave, the scariest thing about Dave is Jen, because when she gets young, I'm fing right off. And I love you, Jen. 